Good day everyone, this is Jake Rodriguez Pumperada from Bacolod City, Negros Occidental, Philippines. In this tutorial video, we will learn how to write a program that will ask the user to give a number, to be specific integer. And then the program will check if the given number by the user is a positive or negative number using visualbasic.net or vb.net. Before we start with our tutorial video, please click the like button if you like this video tutorial. Leave a comment in the comment section of our video and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials. So let's get started. On our Visual Basic.net environment right now, we have here a form. It is called Form 1 by default so the first step that we will do is to write the title of our program positive and negative number checker in vb.net okay because the title of our program is such very long we have to adjust the length of our form here we go next we will have a text box no I'm sorry label click the label and drag to the form in the text we replace the label one with a word or a sentence enter a number now we can do some formatting changes on the size of the of the font of the font let's say for example 12 and then we would like to change our font type that is Arial one of my favorite font type in programming <laughs> next we will go with our text box here is it we will put here and then in our text box we can change the type of font to Arial and then regular the font style and then the font size is 12 the next thing that we will do is to go again to the text box uh, no, uh, the toolbar a uh, to uh, uh, toolbox and then select button button object click and drag here okay so here we change the size the, the font type Arial we can have bold 12 and then the text let's say for example check okay we will copy this button we will copy it again now here we can have a clear we change the check to clear and then this one is quit in the quit we can simply put double click and okay to end the program execution back to our form one design check dim a uh, ay, as integer a equals val text box one point text if a greater than or equal to zero let us assume now that zero is a posit is a positive number then message uh, message box the given number is the 
let us try this one is a positive number okay and now if it is constant string quotation I forgot to put a double quotation in this particular portion else we remove this one to play and then and if I will copy this one instead of positive we will have the word negative okay now here let's go with the clear text box one point text equals text box one point x uh, no set fo set fo focus focus you want to declare the text box and we have a focus so here we can add also okay so let us check our program let us run negative 5 okay so we have here the output the given numbers five, negative 5 is a negative number now I have some corrections no? I will remove X okay so here we can have uh, result comma okay 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 so we can have here copy and then title of our text box I hope so I'm doing the right thing so we have here okay save and then click the run eight Mm. I think there is a mistake. Uh -huh. Check. Uh, okay. It is the, I will remove this one. I think there is a mistake. No? I thought. Okay. Okay. Let us try again. Again. Save. Run. Okay. Here we go. Negative five. The given number negative five is a negative number. Okay we can return here we can click the button clear okay 89 the given number 89 is a positive number here we go so if we can go back to our code this portion of the code is for the end button to terminate the program now this portion of the code will be on the check check button check button this one so we have your condition we have your variable a that will hold the value of the text box one point text val if a greater than or equal to zero let us assume that zero is considered as positive number then it will display a message box the given number a is a positive number else if the number is less than or not equal to zero it becomes a negative number so I hope that you will find our video tutorial useful in your learning on visual basic dot net if you like this video tutorial please click the like button leave a comment in our comment section of our video tutorial and subscribe to my channel for more future video tutorials thank you for watching 
the this video tutorial guys until to the until next time thank bye bye for now